Hi, my name is Ricard Teixeira and I'm the director of the film A Sound in Motion. We wanted to do the first short film for Gulp Films. Uh, started discussing several ideas and quickly got to the point of talking about social aspects or problems. Uh, we wanted to make a film that would prompt everybody to do more for society. We felt there was the right course of action at the time and I'm not quite sure who came up with the main idea but I recall that a few months before I had recorded a deaf girl doing sign language and that had uh, an impact on me and uh, since then I tried to understand the deaf culture uh, a little bit more. Another motto was for it to be a constructive film with a positive message. There is a lot to be done towards um, a more inclusive world. I think our own life is an inspiration. Uh, every one of us has a story or knows a story to tell. Sometimes we don't see it or don't know how to put that into a film. I think it's very difficult to tell stories if you don't know anything about it. So inspiration comes from life itself and personal experiences and uh, also from seeing a lot of movie references and discussing that with friends and, and colleagues. I think we should try to understand each other a little, a little bit more. Uh, we tend to assume that we know what the other is or is not without even asking or stop to think of the possibilities around that. Uh, this has a big part in overcoming challenges, uh, I think. We should be more patient so we can be of help. I think love is our most power powerful power and we should try to heal things with uh, love and kindness. Uh, hate and stress bring more chaos into the already existing problems. I haven't seen the film yet, so I can comment on it, but uh, I know it relies on something similar to Sound in Motion. Um, the funny thing is, I also play the drums in a punk metal band, so I definitely have to watch it. I think it's very important to tell stories about people and social issues that seem to be forgotten as time goes by and we have to be more connected as a society so personally I think I need to become more aware of that and use what I do to be of service. Not just regarding deaf culture representation but also anything that relates to discrimination and um, being more inclusive. Uh, it is exhausting to campaign all the time to make film, uh, the film industry face this, this problem. So even though a lot of work has been done on this subject matters, I think we're still far from, from perfect. And uh, one thing that might be helpful will be to establish a quota for films to include people that are commonly discriminated against, not only as actors, but also within the production team. First of all, thank you for noticing. Uh, we had some discussions about it, making it to the final cut. With this scene, I felt the need to explore the emotions of our world and create a more immersive sequence. Uh, so I think this last scene exists not in order to give answers, but to allow the audience to breathe and feel the sentiment by the time the story ends. Yes, there are some projects regarding fiction and documentary. We are writing a documentary mini-series that we hope to start the recording next year or in 2023. We also have a new short film to shoot this year, so we are excited about what is ahead. <laughs>